Check this out, YouTube. Creation power to the people, son. Because this is a create your own pizza at Pizza Hut. We got a large pizza hand tossed crust with creamy garlic parmesan sauce. Extra cheese. On top of the extra cheese, we got applewood smoked bacon, basil pesto, drizzle, beef, commonized onions. Oh, that's nice. We also added chicken, sausage, Cupped pepperoni, fresh mushrooms, garlic, grape tomatoes, grilled chicken, Italian sausage, onions, pepperoni, seasoned pork, slow roasted ham. So, like, this fucking pizza is gonna be fucking glorious, YouTube. I got a fucking bag of Lay's cheddar sour cream and cheddar chips. We're gonna crack it open. Pop that DoorDash sticker. I'm going to grab our Lay's potato chips. I might do one more little squeeze all over the chips. That's a fucking sweet looking little pizza hut pizza, man. Keep my idols and my fucking peeps safe, man. All I'm doing is fucking giving the people what they want. So now we're going to try a slice of this custom made goddamn pizza. Cheers to Dame Drops and Badlands Chugs. And all my fellow foodies. No one out pizzas the huts. Not a sponsor. But it's like, okay, what kind of fucking crazy ghoulish food hack can we create? You know what I'm saying? And we come up with something. And maybe it's not what you call conventionally healthy, but... Because the only thing that would make this more perfect is if I could take like some pizza hot, some pizza hot garlic, garlic sauce and just drizzle it all over the top of the pizza. Outside of that, I'm not complaining. I forgot to order them, I guess, because I know Pizza Hut does offer the fucking garlic cups. We need to thank the circle gods for their blessing. The long of Ozzy Osbourne and fuck the trolls.
I ordered the fucking pizza, and then I fucking food hacked it with the crushed chips. And then I let it fucking cool off, and it was like, man. Someone was stayed on the fucking pizza, and that's what's up. This food hack I made is all kinds of delicious. This is the best goddamn fucking pizza food hack I've ever tried. Because this pizza is delicious. I dropped my crust. I was sitting there munching on it. Having a massive brain fire over it. I crafted this food hack to sharpen my skills as a food hack enthusiast and people just look at me and laugh but we're like mm. <laughs> that's really good let me make sure I didn't fucking leave the bag of chips hanging out no, we're golden. That bag of chips is tucked away. It did not need garlic butter drizzled on top, but it would have made that pizza sing like the unholy chorus that it is. But don't get it twisted. The combination I've just created is so delicious by itself. It's like food hacks that are so good that they don't need butter or fucking. Mm. And people are like, oh, Cobra's up to his old shenanigans again. I don't give a damn. And that Pizza Hut food combination that I just created. If you can make that with stuffed crust. And like loaded with garlic butter and extra cheese. Holy shit, would it be good. Like it's good now, don't get me wrong, but like... You know what I'm saying. Jokes aside though, like Pizza Hut does make good pizza and the pizza food hack that I just created for this video, even if I don't have like garlic butter to drizzle on top, I would still say it's exquisite. Like you shouldn't have this and that weird. Eh. It's like yeah, but bacon and grease taste good. Beef, bacon, grease. Mm. And people are so quick to be like, oh, don't talk to Cobra. Don't do his drink combos or his food hacks. You're a piece of shit. And it's like, I don't expect people to do them. When I'm filming my food hacks or my drink combos or plugging my tactical soap, it's a friendly suggestion. I'm not trying to be a dick or shove anything in anyone's face.